Hey everybody, this is Jeanette from Woody Grasso and Crafts. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what causes the um, bobbin sensor to stop working. Um, usually when you're sewing and your bobbin is running out, you're going to get an error message on your machine letting you know that your bobbin is running low. If you stop getting that message, that means that you need to clean the bobbin area and you have some bobbin sensors in there that is probably dirty and that's why the machine is not reading. So I'm going to show you how to actually clean the bobbin sensor area and let you know where it's at so that way um, you know what to do if this starts happening to you, okay? So what I'm going to do is make sure that your machine is off. My machine is off right now and I'm going to take out the little cover and I'm going to remove the bobbin from my machine and I'm also going to set aside I'm going to remove the top case okay so I'm removing this too and all right now one of the things that you're going to do is you're also going to remove this area right here right where the bobbin sits okay so I'm removing this as well all right now I'm going to take the camera out of the stand because I want you to see what I am, I would, you know, what I want you to pay attention to so you know that what the, where is the, the sensors for the bobbin and also so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm holding the camera over here with my hand and I want to show you. Okay, now I'm doing a close up right here and if you look on your machine right over here and I'm pointing right here, I'm going to see if I can focus right here. Um, you're going to see there is a little bit of wires right in here. Now, in here, in this area right here, there is a sensor. And the sensor goes all the way across to this area right here. And as you can see, I already have like a little piece of lint right there. And that can cause my machine to not read the bobbin from working. Now, one of the best ways to clean this is to make sure that this open area is right by across the sensors you see this is so what I'm going to do is you could use the brush that came with the machine and you want to make sure you clean this area now I'm using my lint brush and as you see I'm just cleaning this area right over here to make sure that this is good and you see I, I don't know if you can tell um, I got a little bit of fuzz right there you know I don't know if you see so I'm gonna take that out Okay, and I'm just going to clean this area real good. Make sure there's nothing there. Everything is all cleaned out. Okay, now you also want to shift this opening to the other side because you want to close the, clean this other side also. So what I'm going to do now is you go and you take the wheel and it's like you're just going to turn this and this hopefully will... Okay. We're gonna we're gonna turn the wheel like I said, and hopefully I think I hit a button and it has stopped recording. It's gonna turn it. So as you can see, I'm turning the wheel with my hand right on the side of the machine. As as I'm turning, it's churning the bobbin case, and now it's on the other side. So now that it's on, sorry, now that it's on the other side, what I want to do is I want to clean this area. So I'm gonna take a little thing. I'm gonna clean out here, make sure it's okay. You know there is lint. Okay. Um, clean that up real good. Um, another thing that I did, I forgot to mention, see, look at all that lint and stuff. Um, another thing is I went to the dollar store and I bought some extra makeup, um, brushes. Make sure you get this one with the soft brushes. But as you can see, look, I'm cleaning this area and boop, a lot of, a lot of dust that I'm getting there. Okay, so I'm going to clean that off and you want to make sure you clean I'm sorry, you wanna make sure you clean that sensor area, okay, so that it can read your bobbin. And I'm gonna clean that up. And I'm good to go, I'm nice and clean. And then you just put everything back. When you're done cleaning both sides, put put everything back. And, um, you know, what, what I would do is, you know, see if you can do like a semi-open, you know, semi, used up you know bobbin that's really close to being finished so that you can make sure that the sensors are, are working again so anyway um you know after you finish cleaning up both sides 
and stuff, I would just pull the needle back up. I'm trying really hard to hold it. I'm sorry, guys, because I'm, I'm holding my own camera. Um, my son snuck out on me again. He's at work. Um, and you just put everything back together. You know, putting my my case back in. I don't think it's in there correctly. It's not snugged. Ugh, and I'm not holding the, the camera right for you guys to see. Okay. And then I'm just going to put the cover back on. Yeah, I got the cover back on. And then just, you know, put, put your bobbin back in. And I don't have my, my hands free and stuff. And then close it and then you're good to go. Okay, so I hope this video helps you guys. Um, I know that um, a couple of folks are saying that they're getting the error message. Well, they're not getting an error message that the bobbin is needs to be changed out and it just keeps on stitching. And if it does, that is exactly what's going on. The sensors, um, something is in the way of the sensors and that's why it's not reading it. Once you clean that out, you should be golden and good to go. So hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and you like it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, I do videos on the Brother SC 1900 and the way it works and, you know, different projects and everything. And also join us on Facebook at Embroidery Happy Hour. And I go live every Friday at 8 o'clock Standard Eastern Time. So hope you like this video and enjoy your in brother, in brother sewing machine and happy sewing and embroidering. Bye.